What is going on guys and welcome to another video here on my channel. Before we go any further, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you can, please go and follow me on my socials. Now, today we have something very exciting planned. I've got the very special Andrew Sava coming in to the HQ and I'm going to be putting him for a leg session. He said to me, Jay, when you take me on a leg session, make sure you mess me up. And obviously, I'm not going to do anything but mess him up. So, his legs are in for it today. I'm going to be putting him through some seriously difficult exercises. And we should hopefully make sure that he can't walk by the end of the session. I'm literally just waiting for him to come. He's always Mr. Unreliable in that sense. You know, he'll tell you he'll be there for 1.30 and then he'll show up at... 1.30 the next day but yeah once he gets here we're gonna go straight into it we'll see you when he gets here and look who's finally here oh he finally decided to show up don't do that it's not my fault we didn't have a shit time stop the cap you set it up really for me yeah i set everything up look even look at the board wrote, wrote your workout So what you get for being late? That's calm bro, I'm ready. Tell them what the, the viewers should do when they watch this video. Nothing, just watch. Tell the viewers what they should do whilst they watch this video. Subscribe if you want. Yep. You, you might want to subscribe. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's the most important thing you have to do before you start lifting weights? Have at the beginning. Uh, the second most important thing? You said it once already. Okay, yeah, you got a stretch. As you already pointed out, um, and as you may know from my Instagram or may not know, I've had a knee operation. So, demonstrating today isn't something I'm exactly going to be able to do, but Andrew is an experienced lifter, um, as you can tell, or may not be able to tell. So, it's more just putting him through it and just making sure that he actually does it. So, Dad, Dad you're so inconsiderate. <laughs> Hello? All right, I'll watch it. All right, love you. Bye, bye, bye. That hurts. I've been on ghosts as a kid. Now I got us full of kids. Where I get one of your sick. Keep making that money flip. I've been on ghosts as a kid. Now I got us full of kids. Where I get one of your sick. Keep making that money flip. Way up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. That went way up. Ban that mouse to feed. I pray that check flow stay up. All of my bros, they been my bros. I'm talking day one. I'm talking day one. Benna, 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 boys. Me and my bros do road, no keys, no deal. We Benna, Benna, toys. Benna, 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 checks. Me and my bros trust God on God, I swear we Benna, Benna, next. I've been on ghosts as a kid. Now I got house full of kids. Where I keep winning your sick. Keep making that money flip. I've been on ghosts as a kid. Now I got house full of kids. Where I keep winning your sick. Keep making that money flip. Yeah. Keep making that money feel All of my paper legit When squatting, fundamentals First thing first, push yeah. your hips back slightly Ever so slightly come forward Not too much when you're leaning forward yeah. But just open up that hip mobility So you can get that bum as low as possible Then when you sink into your squat You want to make sure you drive your knees out Okay, don't let your knees cave in If that does happen, probably means that the weight is too heavy Get as low as you can Depth is important But it, you don't have to get your bum all the way to the floor like Andrew does like More than 90 degrees in your legs Also, when you're coming back up, again the same thing You do not want your knees to cave so you should control be focusing the knees. Yeah, control the negatives, yeah that's a big one But you need to be focusing on driving your knees out When coming up as well So when you get to the bottom of the movement and you're coming up Hope if you should be thinking, don't allow that to happen. You want your knees to be out. Then when you get to the top, squeeze your glutes and then repeat the movement. When my friends go, it was simple. When the ends low, switch the tempo. I got a right, I got a heart, I don't die, I'ma fight, I go down, bet I strike, I go hard day and night. Yeah. I go hard day and night. Right, so what we're gonna do this is Andrew's last set. We've been up to 120 now. We're going to go for as many reps as possible to failure and then what we're going to do is we're going to strip the bar so we're going to go drop sets we're going to take the five so there will be a five here in a second uh, five and a 15 that's going to come off rep to failure we're going to take the 10 off rep to failure and then just rep it out on the 60s and that's that basically you ready boy not really but let's go 
Me, I got a war for some. Some people need knives and guns. Same ones just talk and run. Some people got a war for none. Me, I got a war for some. Some people need knives and guns. Same ones just talk and run. Where my friends go, it was simple. When the ends low, switch the tempo. I got a right, I got a heart. I won't die, I'ma fight. I go down, bet I strike. I go hard day and night. Money on the line, keep calling. Money on the books, need all that. My kids, kids, they'll be ballin'. Got a real bank road, not for Instagram. My mama on the line, keep callin'. Praying for me, no, I need all that. Told me it's not about ballin'. Real blessed, but I'm still sin it, man. What would you do for a win? What would you do for your friends? What if this life is a foe? What if it dogs pretend? What if you roll to the end? What if you started again? This is real life, not a game. Oh my god. Imagine if that fell. I'll be finished. <sighs> more than I'm more. <sighs> Are you feeling, brother? Oh, I need a minute. Oh, oh. So what we do here at HQ? <sighs> so the big man seven finish his set, his heavy set of 120 kg, perfect execution. Very drop sets were a killer. Drop sets were a massive <laughs> killer. As always, um, I'm gutted I can't be involved in this session. I would have loved to have gone for a PR myself. But yes. Moving on. So, squats, the main thing out of the way. We're now moving on to Bulgarian split squats, which is basically a single leg squat. Obviously, Andrew will have to run you through the demonstration, but all it is is you have one leg elevated and your other leg forward in a split stance, basically in a lunge position with one leg elevated and you squat down on that single leg and yeah. Good for it. Let's go. So what you've got to think about is your back leg, where your knee is at the moment, going straight down to the floor. So your back knee should always be in a straight line. And then what that ultimately does is allows your front yeah. knee, yeah, to not go past your toe. So think back leg straight down. I don't <laughs> Uh, back leg straight down. You don't want that front. Look at that front knee as well. Just think about that front knee. Don't let it go past that toe. Maybe jump that front foot forward a little bit more. If you can. There we go. Back leg straight down. That's much better. There we go. That was perfect. It's so awkward. I can see myself moving. It's messing up my balance. That's good. Love that. Wake up to the money, turn me right on. You look like you got just with no lights on. No lights on. A Superman that spin like a cyclone. A cyclone. Fit check spin like a cyclone. A cyclone. Wake up to the money, turn me right on. Right on. You look like you got just with no lights. Right. So moving on. Bulgarian quick squats were absolute killer and success. We've now got barbell. Romanian deadlifts, stiff leg deadlifts, more commonly known as. So, the target of this exercise is to work the hamstrings and the glute. You want to imagine that there's a door behind you and you're trying to shut it with your bum. So you stick your bum back, reach forward and bring the bar to around halfway down your shins and then drive back up and squeeze your glutes. It's essentially that you push that bum back instead of just leaning forward because then you won't get the hamstring tension that you need and you just put a lot of strain on your lower back. So, without further ado, Andrew, please take the wheel. See guys, this is why you need to subscribe. Where, where else do you get this information from? No one on YouTube is talking like this. No one else, yeah? just me. Just you, not, not um, yeah, I'm not gonna start naming names. Just subscribe to Jake Arafit. Yes. Done. Yeah. Subscribe. Since you'll find what you're looking for when you stop looking All of your exes with lessons in We'll talk about them again, you keep on settling Wonder if love is a pain or the medicine You never let it in, well I guess it's your right But fake has been never my type And I didn't build up this wall overnight See I wanted more than just lust for the night Then you came in my life, you you, you're different than them I'm used to them playing pretend I'm used to your only a friend Fell deep in each letter you send I'm questioning love and again I'm questioning when it will end Bet till I break it, my heart don't break even I want this for longer than only a season And you didn't break me, you, you came to pick up the Pieces. No, you never hear it, but you is who I believe in. No one never perfect, but you are perfect to me. And lately, I'm believing in love. You are the reason I'm talking to my angels above. So, guys, when you do an RDL, what you ultimately want to be feeling is as if you're doing like a toe touch stretch, like you're just reaching down, trying to stretch the back of your hamstring. So, when you go into the descent of the movement, it should feel like your hamstrings are stretching out. If it doesn't feel like you've got that hamstring engagement and they're not tight and they're not, you're probably doing it wrong and you're probably putting too much pressure on your lower back. So, I'd either say, Lighten the load or just focus on taking each part of the movement one at a time. So pushing your hips back, 
keeping the bar close to your body, reaching down to your shins, and then driving up and squeezing your glutes. Hold on, let me get good lighting. Yeah. Look yourself. Hard, 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 jawline, yeah. All right, J Cara Fit, what's up next? Hit me, yeah. I'm ready. So my favorite exercise to always bring at the end of the session when you're pretty much finished, like you don't really want to do anymore, you've done a lot of lifting, not heavy load. That's how I feel right now. isolation work, you know, mm -hmm. those legs are burning. Body weight, you're walking lunges. No weight, just body weight. So mm -hmm. just using your heavy weight just to push yourself through those lunges. Um, but we're gonna go. Let's go, let's go. That is a wrap for today's session. Big man Sava, how you feeling bro? I am finished. Absolutely finished. He did not see what I said before, but I did say I was gonna mess up his desk because he did ask me to do that. And did I achieve it? But I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and I'm not gonna be able to walk, so I appreciate you, thank you. It's a good thing you've got that marathon tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, look, this one, doing tomorrow, look. DJ Cam. Bye. And that, guys, is a wrap for this video. Guys, like I said, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Leave a like. Comment down below what you want to see more of on my channel. Whether you like seeing Savar on here. Whether we should get him on here more. Keep tuning into these videos and show your support. Thank you very much.